Do you want to improve with every game and not just aimlessly roaming the map and receiving a barrage of angry pings from your teammates? Danger, 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 danger. Then you have to stick to the end, because I bet you've made plenty of those mistakes that I'm going to talk about today. The Great Chase. It's like a never-ending marathon, where players just can't resist urge to chase after their opponents. Why waste time and energy chasing down enemies when you could be farming gold, pushing lanes, or securing objectives? Not to mention, more often than not, you end up getting smacked by the enemy team that swoops in for a surprise party. And guess what? You end up feeding them even more gold, which definitely won't help your cause. Time to put those running shoes away, my friends. Greed on steroids. We've all seen it. Players going to extraordinary lengths to get that one kill. They mindlessly dive into enemy turrets without any backup, without any regard for their safety. It's like they've got a one-track mind. Must. Get. Kill. But here's the reality check. You're gonna die, my friend. And all for what? An easily kill that won't win you the game? Learn when to let go. Even if the enemy's health bar is begging for mercy. It's not worth it. Trust me. Ignoring objectives. Elemental dragons, rift heralds, barons, and elder dragons. They are there for a reason, folks. But sometimes your jungler seems to have forgotten their existence. Hey! Junglers! Smite isn't just a fancy accessory. It's your soup power. But it's not just them. The whole team can get caught up in their own world, oblivious to their potential buffs waiting for them. Wake up, smell the dragons, and get your priorities straight, people. Lane amnesia. Minions are your money makers, folks. Unless you're a jungler. Sorry. But some players seem to have developed selective memory loss when it comes to their lanes. They roam, they recall, they do everything except return to their precious lanes to pick up those sweet gold nuggets. But guess what? While they're off having fun, their turrets are crumbling under the enemy's might. Pro tip, don't forget about your lanes, or they'll forget about you. David versus Goliath fights. Ah, <sighs> the classic tale of outnumbered heroes seeking revenge. One teammate gets caught, and suddenly the rest of the team goes charging into a 3 vs 5 or 4 vs 5 fight like they've got a trick up on their sleeve. Spoiler alert, they don't. The odds are stacked against them. So here's an incredible idea. Play smart, wait for your team to regroup, and then unleash the fury. It's called strategy, people. Split pushing psychos. Split pushing can be a game changer if done right. But let me tell you, it's a recipe for disaster when the least mobile or squishy champion suddenly decide to take the mission. Imagine misfortune or jinx thinking they're the next split push master. <laughs> what the hell? Know your champion's strengths and weaknesses, my friends. Don't be sitting aside when you should be joining the action. Objective thieves without smite. Get ready for my personal favorite. Players attempting to secure an objective without their trusty jungler. And, wait for it, without a smite! You're outnumbered, outgunned, and out of luck. The enemy team is just waiting to snatch that objective right from under your nose. So here's a wild idea. Don't do it. Without a smite and the whole squad by your side. You're just asking for trouble. So go out there, dodge those chases, resist the greed, embrace those objectives, remember your lanes, wait for the right moment to fight, leave the split pushing to the right champions, and for goodness sake, don't attempt an objective without a smite wielding juggler. Please. Thank you. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more wild fun, keep gaming, keep laughing, and I'll catch you on the rip for more wild adventures. I think I should become a rapper. <laughs>